Welcome back to Aussie Arvo. Today, we're filling in potholes because our council won't. How you going? Great doing that. Oh, just servicing, <laughs> some community service, yeah. yeah. So we have this section of road on our street, which has quite a few potholes. Like I'm talking like 20 to 30 potholes. And it's been like this for months and the council has no intention on fixing it. So we're taking it into our own hands. So the mission was simple. Find some dirt, fill some holes and become local heroes. How hard can it be? So we've got quite a lot of dirt to get to fill in these holes. Yeah. All right, well that's good. Exactly the potholes form? Well, it begins with poor drainage. Water seeps in and wets layers under the road. The foundations then become weak and begin to sink. Water will then begin to pull and it will progressively grow larger as vehicles travel over it, dislodging stones, which then lead to potholes. Now I don't really see myself or Liam as heroes or anything, but today we honestly have made a difference. This road is no longer bumpy, cars can drive at it at speed, and I think it's going to help the morality of the whole community. Unfortunately, we didn't have access to a steamroller, so we had to use Lean's Patrol and roll back and forth up and down the road until uh, the potholes were compacted. How you going? Great doing that. Oh, just servicing, some community <laughs> service, yeah. yeah <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> See ya. Now, is it a perfect job? Well, no, but does the council ever do perfect jobs? No, so this is just as good as they would ever do. So before we show you how good the road is now, we've got a bit of an ISO update from Mechanic Dan and James. Hey guys, what's going on? A uh, bit of a lockdown update, seeing as we're obviously based in Victoria, can't go out anywhere to film. Uh, Patrick and Liam have been holding down the fort, keeping the content coming out for you guys, so thought we'd do a little bit of an update on what's been going on around here. Um, I've been working on the Esky, getting it ready for the Esky Olympics, which uh, I'm sure will be filmed as soon as we can. Out of lockdown, should be a good time. Um, a bit of work on the bike, work on the cars, you know, work around the block here and uh, yeah, we'll um, get together some footage I'm sure of a bit of uh, stuff that's been happening. Obviously super keen to get back out of the bush and film a few trip videos as soon as we can and um, stay tuned after lockdown, I'm sure we'll have some projects coming up, we've got a bit of interesting stuff in the works so super keen to be able to do that and uh, we'll see you guys in an upcoming episode, cheers. Still an ISO down here in Melbourne, got the ISO do going, haven't got had a haircut in at least three months. Uh, update on the patrol, haven't done anything to it, uh, just been collecting firewood around the property with it. Uh, I cleaned it once and then it rained and collected my firewood and it got dirty again. But we do have something very exciting coming up for this car, uh, we're going to turn it, oh, I'm not giving too much away, but we do have very exciting plans, we've got a build video coming out for it, we're going to do a lot of work to it. Uh, I'll clean the inside of it, vacuumed it up a little bit. It's uh, that's about it, really that. Got a bipod for the Vernie Karen. 
It is a bit flimsy, but uh, it's better than nothing. So I bought a new dog, baby blue healer. It's actually a chocolate healer, and it's obsessed with ice. <laughs> All right, see you later. All right, let's see how these hot holes feel now. All right, so the job's done. All the potholes are filled in. If um, you dislike the council as much as us, <laughs> no, we shouldn't say dislike. We can't start a war with the council. You think we did a better job than the council? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> if you think we've done a better job than the council, give the video a like, get subscribed, and we'll see you in the next video.